have you ever, even after you've, you've come to the knowledge of Yeshua, have you ever felt guilty for a mistake that you made again, maybe a tenth time, maybe for the first time? And what was the delivering point for you from your guilt? Uh, very simple. Number one, when I acknowledge that I'm guilty, acknowledge of doing wrong, you know, there's a moral principle, spiritual principle. When I acknowledge that I'm wrong, Yeshua has made a provision in His principles to say, if you repent and confess, He is faithful to forgive us of all our sins. Now, Shaker, I'm a normal human being. I'm a spiritual man, but I'm a normal human being. Do I make mistakes? My goodness, more than ever before. Do I fall? Yes, of course. Very natural. It's human. Or let me say the other way. I'm perfectly imperfect. All of us. Now, when I said guilt, my guilt was forgiven, is of the past. But of my present, when I do wrong, He's made a provision for me. And what is the provision? I'm going to confess and repent and seek His face. He's faithful to forgive me. Now, confession is not just saying sorry and do the same thing again. Confession is, Proverbs 28, 13 says, you confess your sin and forsake it. God will give you another chance. Prodigal son, he never said, I'm sorry to his father. But the prodigal son did repent. What did he do? He left the place of disobedience and came towards the father. So when I say, I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me of my guilt or my pain or the mess that I'm in, I'm actually acknowledging not only for doing wrong, but I'm making a decision to say, I will not go that way anymore. It's like, if I am driving recklessly, I pay the fine once, twice, thrice. Now if it is in a record, I'm doing it regularly or drunk driving, I will lose my license. Now government-wise, you will lose your license. But God is very merciful. When you confess, ask for forgiveness, He'll forgive you. But is wanting you to forsake it fully so that I do not have the consequences of rebellion, consequences of being uh, not truthful in my confession. So how do I overcome guilt? Confession. How do I overcome guilt? By leaving the place of rebellion. And that's what I see over the years when I mean to say this transformation, I become a better husband, better father, that means I'm becoming better because I am gone a notch higher in terms of my obedience. Right now, there are so many lights around us, there's brightness. So what is light or what is darkness? Absence of light is darkness. Absence of sadness is joy. Absence of bondage is freedom. So when I trust in Yeshua, the light of the world comes in me. When I believe in Him, the joy comes in. When I believe in Him, the freedom and confidence comes in. So I would say, not only to me, to any one of us, we all have guilt in our problem. I'm not super spiritual. We're all natural. But naturally, we can experience supernatural grace of God by only confessing and forsaking it, confessing and forsaking it. So when you confess and forsake it, God gives you another chance. How many times? He said to one another, forgive 70 times 7. Now here is a, a challenging question to all of us. Have we ever prayed, God give me oxygen? Never. I'm sure, Santosh. Take it for granted. Never. Yeah, we take it for granted. Imagine, if God had to put GST on oxygen, none of us would be here. But He's so loving, so kind. He gives the oxygen to the good, the bad, the ugly. He gives oxygen to all of us. He's a loving God. So when He's a loving God, we respond to His love 
then the law of judgment then the law of punishment or the consequences the only way is leave and cleave leave the place of rebellion and cleave to walk in righteousness that's the transformation that i experience as a human being as a follower of yeshua